I tell you, Roger, being single for a day, it's been such a vacation. No doubt. Paradise, baby. Well, we gotta make sure we milk this cow till it's dead. You know what? Let's go talk to Lewis. Make sure we're doing all the single stuff. Digging it. He'll show us how to blow it out. Uh, Stan, is that you? Check out this guy. He's all, uh, Stan, is that you? It was just your pirate costume threw me. I'm peacocking, dog. So me and my good friend... Uh, Laszlo Morphine. Me and Laszlo are buzzing around, having single guy fun, and we need some pointers from the king of single players in this town. Oh, Stan, what are you talking about? I'm not single. Oh, all right, I get it. You got a girl in there. Don't want to let on you're a player. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe we can talk after the holidays. <laughs> we got to get a peep at his babe. Lewis is always killing it. Francine? What the hell is going on? Lewis has my family. Well, you did wish for his life. Maybe he got yours. Well, I didn't wish for that. I wanted my family to be, like, suspended in a void or, or like a static nothingness or, or whatever happens when I leave the room. All right, I'll just wish for them back. I wish my family back. And wish activate. You know, it might not be that easy. This might be one of those dealios where you gotta learn a lesson before things go back to normal. What the hell does that mean? Like in the movies. You've seen It's a Wonderful Life, right? Nope. How about Big? Uh-uh. You saw Ted? No. Really? Look, sometimes in a movie, a person thinks they want something, but then... Oh, like in the Care Bears Big Wish movie. Okay, I learned my damn lesson. Lewis has my shit and I want it back. Not sure you have. You're calling your family shit. Guys, I know this may sound crazy. But right now, we're in a Care Bear movie. Is that why you're dressed as a pirate, Principal Smith? He's your principal? This is your fault, Lewis. You made being single look so lovely. I swear, I'm your dad. Remember last year at Christmas, I got you both three hole punches so, so you wouldn't have to fight over one? No, last year on Christmas, we pretended we didn't see you walk into the sizzler by yourself. That's all I remember. Look, Stan, you uh, seem to be a little agitated, but I don't want this to get out of control because, as you know, I'm a CIA agent. You're in the CIA? That's my life! Wait, then you should have a gun right here. Oh, God! There it is. Everybody just chill out! You're my family! Mine! And you're coming with me! Seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings! I can't do this! But you sound beautiful! They sound terrified! <laughs> oh, the CIA's here. This should be interesting. Principal Smith, you cuckoo bird. I know Christmas is a time for family, but it's supposed to be your own family, of which you have none. You are alone in this world, and undoubtedly will be alone in the next. So let that family go! But I'm not alone, because I have you, Francine. Please remember. Okay, this should mean something. I know what you wanted for Christmas. So on three, let's say it together. One, two, Three. Snowman sweater? Damn it! All right, Smith, we're coming in firing, but this Christmas massacre is on your head. Wait, a snowman sweater? I don't know why, but that does sound familiar. It, it does? Francine, thank you. Thank you so much. But honey, the CIA will never believe you. Our only hope is if I can convince them. Yes, go, go. I'll be right back. Kids, come help me explain. Yes, yes, good idea. That way it's not just her word against Lewis's. It was terrible. He's completely lost it. That poor, poor man. What are you waiting for? Take him down. I don't want to armchair QB this whole thing, but um, never release all your hostages, because now what's stopping them from... There it is. Yeah, I'm going to go hide in the attic.